Welcome back to my channel everyone. I decided to make another auto blogger just because the other one was giving a lot of errors for people. So I decided to make this as simple as possible. This is actually a better auto blogger than the one before. Now there are some requirements. You're going to need Visual Studio Code, okay? You're also going to need Python and you'll also need Git, which is a software um, that you can install. Install all, all of those things for your platform, uh, whether you're on PC, Mac, whatever. So you need a good version of Python, you need Git, and you need Visual Studio Code. Once you have all of those things, what you want to do is you want to go to Visual Studio Code, and you want to go to Terminal here, and then New Terminal. And you, like I said, you will need Git, and you can find these instructions here in the description, but you want to find the GitHub link right here. And then you just want to type uh, git clone, and then control V, and then um, big bossa. <laughs> I already exist, what are the chances? Okay, so we now have all the files inside something called big bossa. So what you want to do is you want to do cd big bossa v2. And now you are inside. So CD is change directory, okay? So you need to be inside that file. Once you're inside that file, you want to open the file on the side. So go to file, open file, no, sorry, file, open folder. And then you want to look for big bossa or whatever you called it. So big bossa v2. And we will select this folder right here. And you can see we have this bit of code right here. So the first thing we're going to look at is the keywords.csv. Now, you need your internal links for this. So currently, the best way, in my opinion, to get internal links is to go to sitemap, go to your sitemap, and then you, you need something called sitemap to clipboard, which is a Chrome extension that was made by one of my viewers. Again, shout out to my Discord for that. We now have 128 users, but this tool is really, really amazing. So because we're on Shopify and I just want the collections, what I'm going to do is open the collections um, sitemap. And then all I need to do is click on the Chrome extension, press start, and then we actually have all of my collections right here, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like. If we go to, let's just stick on ChatGPT4. We now have all of these collections. This is too many collections though, especially because I am just doing an example. So let's just get rid of most of these collections right here. That's probably still too many, to be honest with you. Uh, let's just do like this many. It's probably still too many collections, to be honest. Okay, there we go. So, just as an example, we're going to use this many collections, okay? Um, what we're going to do is we need to format this in a specific way. So again, go to the description, you will find this prompt right here, okay? And you just want to copy this, because this is how we need our articles to look, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this prompt, okay? And then I'm going to show you, basically, you need to put your keywords here, okay? So you need your internal links here and you need your keywords here, okay? So to find keywords, I'm currently just using keywordtool.io. I type in attire, for example, here, and then I go on questions and then I just choose a few. So what are the casual attire? Terribly formatted question, but there you go. And I'm just gonna click a few of these. Um, that's a bad one. What are business attire? Smart casual attire for an interview. Uh, this is there's some really weirdly formatted questions. Um, okay, that'll do anyway. Uh, let's just do stag do a tire as well. Okay, so we have six keywords. This is just a quick way to find keywords. You can do you can find the keywords however you want. Okay, so you want to paste the keywords like this, and then we can literally hit enter here. And what this is going to do is it's going to format the keywords and the internal links in the correct way. I'm going to delete a few more of these because it's still a few too many. I mean, this is just an example. So let's just do this many, for example. So you'll see what this is going to do is it's going to create a CSV in the exact format that we need it to be in. Okay, so if I if you look here, this is the example. All you need is this one example at the top in order to format the rest of them in the correct way. So that's how you format everything. You can see here, this is formatted perfectly. So we're just gonna move on, okay? So keywords.csv, this is now all you need in order to create the actual content. The only other thing you need is your open AI key, which you should know how to get that by now if you're watching my videos, but uh, let's just go to the playground and we'll just quickly get that. 
Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to here and then view API keys like that. And then you want to delete one because everyone has loads and loads of API keys, obviously. Um, let's just call this whatever, create new key, continue. I'm going to revoke this immediately, so please don't try and copy this to use my API. Okay, so if you want to know how this works, I may as well explain this. What it does is there are uh, five prompts here, okay? There is an outline prompt, which is here, okay? There is a, th a three-part um, prompt here, which writes the article in three parts. And then there's a key takeaway table prompt here, okay? What this does is it creates an article that's about 1,500 to 2,500 words. And then this is the system prompt, okay? If you want to change anything about the outline or whatever it might be, this is what you have to change, okay? But I personally recommend that you just don't change anything and you just leave it exactly as it is because it does actually work pretty well here. Now, one good thing about this compared to the one that I had the other day is that this will not time out most of the time, okay? This will actually complete the task most of the time. If you want to change the model because you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can change this to GPT um, 3.5 Turbo 16K, for example. However, I really don't recommend that you do that just because GPT-4 understands prompt a lot better than GPT 3.5. So the actual result here is going to be a lot better if you use GPT 4. But you can change the model. You can change the system prompt. Or if you really want, you can change these prompts as well. But again, I wouldn't recommend that you do that, to be quite honest with you. Okay. The last thing you need to know is if you want a bit more information on how to find keywords, you can go to the playlist in the description um step-by-step -step topical authority building using ai this playlist will give you many different keyword methods different ways to write and it also has my first um content machine which is a little bit less, less complicated but doesn't work as well okay so this one here does work a lot better uh but it is coding so i mean some people run and hide from coding but i would really recommend learning this basic coding just if you're interested how I made this code, I just used ChatGPT with Bing. I got ChatGPT to read the current documentation, and then I got it to read a few forum posts, and it actually has memory. So what it does is it gives the current article as part of the prompt, just like ChatGPT inside the UI does as well. The main difference here is this will output six articles at once instead of one at a time, okay? Well, it does one at a time, but it, it, it does them. So you could set this running, go to sleep, wake up with 150 articles if you set this up properly. That's why I'm, I'm, that's why I made this basically. So again, click on these three dots, terminal, new terminal. And then all you wanna do is you wanna run Python high.py and this should just run first time. You'll see it says processing number one, black tie attire for men. And then it'll just run through each one, each one, each one, each one. And I will come back when this has finished the first article. Okay, so this is a live test. It has just finished the first one. It took about four minutes. So again, I would recommend doing this overnight, for example. There is a cost to this as well. I will try and find out what the cost is. So let's just quickly see if I can see that. So let's go to manage account, usage. I think it does separate, oh no, it doesn't. I don't know exactly what the cost is um, for today. Yeah, no, I don't know, unfortunately. Uh, maybe. No, I, I don't know how to check exactly for this one generation, but let's click here. Let's do a control A, control C, take it into markdown to html.com, control A, control V, and we'll see how much content there is here. So first of all, first thing to note is you can see there are internal links here, there are titles. There aren't many lists. I did tell it to do lists, but I guess just sometimes it messes up. And we do have a key takeaways table as well. So you will need to do a little bit of editing as you can see like that, for example, I'll have to remove that. And I did see that there was a little bit of a mess up somewhere with three hashtags. Where is that exactly? There we go. So we can just press enter twice. But I mean, considering like, yeah, it's not a lot of editing, to be honest with you. And also there are two H1s as well. So we'll just delete the top one like that. Per article, that's about 
20 seconds worth of editing and we're now done. So let's control A this and then go to docs.new and let's just see how many words this is. Again, this is a completely live test. Um, one, five pages is normally about 1,400, 500 words. Perfect. So what do we have? We have the key takeaways table, which you could put at the top as well, just so you know, you can put this at the top. Um, we have multiple internal links to, I think, to the same pages. Cesare Attilini, Fioroni, Marco Pescarolo, KPNT, sweaters, tracksuits, blazers, bags, shoes. It looks like it hasn't actually done it to the same, um, the same one, which is good. Again, this would need to be edited as well. I'm actually just going to do this here instead. Heading two, like that. But yeah, overall, 1,500 words, and it will just keep producing content. It doesn't matter how many keywords you have here. You could literally have 10,000 10, keywords. Again, maybe be careful because 10,000 articles will cost a lot of money, obviously. But considering this is pretty much fully automated, this is a really, really good way to do it. Now, do not use the preview here because the internal links are going to mark down to HTML. What you actually need to do is get the raw HTML like this, or you could probably do something like um, turn the markdown into HTML directly using Python or whatever it might be. But you can just get the raw HTML like this, and then you have an article ready to upload to WordPress or whatever it might be. This is much more reliable just because of the way that I actually coded it. And another good thing is that it has memory between the prompts. So there should not be any repetition between the parts, okay? There might still be a bit of repetition just because of the nature of ChatGPT, but in general, there should not be any repetition. It should create articles that are over 1,500 words pretty much every single time, and the content will rank on Google. Now you should really, if there's, if there's this much content, there should be some lists. If you actually look at the prompt, it does say give me lists, but you know sometimes it doesn't. I've just changed the prompt a little bit there. So I've said, you should never have large walls of text, but always split them up with lists or tables, ordered or unordered lists. Again, play around with this, find what works exactly for you, and just have a little... If you're gonna change a prompt, I would personally say that the best prompt to change is this system prompt here. If you change any of the other prompts, it's probably just gonna mess something up. And that this is very precisely programmed to have memory between the five parts. So creating an outline, based on the outline, create the first third of the article, the second third of the article, the final third of the article, and then the key takeaways table. So just be very, very careful with messing around with these prompts here. I mean, you can if you want. If you know what you're doing as well, then definitely have a play around. But if you wanna change anything, change the system prompt here. Try and make it work for you specifically. You could even try and put your internal links here if you don't like how I've done the internal links and then just run the CSV. You know, have a little play around with this, see what you can come up with. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this gives you something to have some fun with. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.